Hello, welcome back to my channel. And on this week's episode, we'll be talking about diarrhea. President did finally weigh in. No, on not this, this one. Too loud. This one. So where did the word diarrhea come from? Well, it comes from two Greek words. First is dia, which means through, and rain, which means to flow. So put them together, diarrhea means to flow through. Diarrhea is characterized by having loose bowel movement or watery stool for three or more days. And it can be classified in two ways, either acute or chronic. Acute is the most common one which only lasts for about 3 days, and chronic lasts for about 3 weeks, which can cause severe diarrhea. So there are 3 types of diarrhea, it can either be common, or bloody, or persistent. Watery is the most common one, and bloody is also known as dysentery, which is caused by having inflamed intestines. Persistent lasts for about 3 weeks, and if it does last for 3 weeks, you should get it checked. It's probably severe diarrhea. So how do you get diarrhea? Well, there are several causes. Unhygienic food, water, flu, norovirus, rotavirus, antacids with magnesium, food intolerance, salmonella, or E. coli. But what actually happens when we have diarrhea? Well, alienated particles or germs, or even pathogens, that are absorbed in by the causes said before, need to be expelled from the body. So why does it need to be expelled? Well, you see, the intestines are the main organs that absorb nutrients and water from the food. So the small intestine is responsible for absorbing nutrients. Now, the small intestine can actually reach up to 20 to 30 feet. And it has three parts, the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. So the duodenum mixes your food bolus with bile coming from your gallbladder, your liver, and your pancreas. So the jejunum absorbs fatty acids, sugars, and amino acids. So all of this absorbing actually happens in the submucosa. The submucosa is one of the four tissue layers of the digestive system. The submucosa also contains your blood vessels and the nerves. And lastly, the ileum, which is connected to your large intestine, absorbs the rest of the nutrients before passing it down. So the large intestine is responsible for absorbing the water that came from the food bolus that passed through the small intestine. There's only one main cure for diarrhea, and that's to drink your electrolytes and be hydrated. So in short, diarrhea is a reaction from the body. It needs to expel out all those bad germs and particles. That's all for today. Catch me on the next episode. Everybody, I'm telling you. I'm telling you.